It's the perfect weather for a warm bowl of comfort food. Pearl Barrett and Serena Allison are here with their Trim Healthy Mama's recipe for creamy verde chicken chili. That sounds yummy. It is so yummy. And it's, it's yummier than yummy. But it's so one, two, three, easy peasy. That's what I love about it. Yeah. You just dump. Okay, so can I be dumper? Yes, you may. Okay. Put the chicken in first into the crock pot. Okay, so these are chicken breasts that are yes. skin and, and bone. Yes. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> hard to hard Get that hair. How can you cook with all How that disgusting. hair, sorry? <laughs> now listen, this is one of the secret ingredients. Okay. Cauliflower. It's going to get so mushy and melty and creamy by cooking in the crock pot. None of the children or husband or whoever hates cauliflower will know what's in here. Okay, nice. It's going to add to the creaminess and actually adds to the health of it because even in just one week of adding cauliflower to your diet, it'll give you 30% better memory recall. That's a latest wow. study, actually. Yes. That's awesome. I know. Dump. This is the Verde. Okay, oh, so that's basically green chilies. Oh, um, yeah. Yes. So it's not super hot. No. How come you're doing all the work? We're standing here like, what? Because, because you put her in charge. Yes. <laughs> and I'm really flying with that because she's big sister. I never get to be in charge. You're really taking Can over. Can of beans, <laughs> resistant and, starch. And of course, yes, this so is a white chili. So we're going to mm -hmm. use the white beans, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it just gets all. And blend. Onions. Creamy. And peppers and celery. Now you could cut up your own peppers yeah. and onions and celery if you wanted to, yeah. or just take the easy route and right. buy the frozen one. I exactly. buy frozen, and you know what? Even though she's taking over, this is actually my recipe. <laughs> and I'm like the the, the drive-through so cook. Anything easy, I do it. Okay, yeah. so in here we have another one of the secret ingredients. We put in okra, one and a half cups. Really? You, you would never know. know. No, you wouldn't know. And what's okra good for? It actually helps with weight loss. And it's high in vitamin C. And so many of us are vitamin C deficient mm -hmm. and we don't know it. It's yeah. blood sugar stabilizing. Okay. It's, it moisturizes the tummy. And so many Very people simply. think they don't like okra, but if you hide it in the sauce, oh, nobody knows. It. We have yes. okra haters in our family. They, they never know. Our kids don't know. But also we have some cream cheese in there yes. and the spices, okay? okay? So you want, you got chili, you got cumin, you've got salt and onion and garlic powder. It just all creams up. But the key is do not allow any little green flecks of okra. Right. So we have pre-blended <laughs> this. Okay. We have pre-blended it and we're going to turn it on for just five seconds now just to get the idea. <laughs> It's a little loud for TV, but yes. so that's why we did okay, it ahead of time. And then we just get it all in. Oh yeah, nice. and then we're gonna add one more cup of the broth. Pearl, would you do that? No, I'm uh, Meryl takes oh. the honor. Oh, thank you very because much. Because there was a little broth in there too. There's not much chicken broth in here, just enough to get it all oh. going together. Oh, this is gonna be so hearty and creamy and zesty, spicy, it's delicious and amazing. Now, after you cook it for what? Six, Six to eight, eight hours. hours. Yep. And then you shred the chicken. You do, but you know what? I just shred it right in there with forks. I don't even need to take it out. It's so fall apart succulent. Just get in there and do so the thing. So it's a one nice. pot meal. Cooks while you're away. We just put it in here to just show the, the lovely mm. deliciousness. How Incredible. hearty and thick it goes. That looks it? That's like Hormel. Like boots on hard working man's Dinner. I wouldn't even say Hormel because yeah. this is the healthy ingredient. I know, it's not but, something you're eating but, out of but a can. The heartiness of it. Yeah. It's like the stick to your ribness. Right, right, right. But it's <laughs> a diet food, but it will just take, it'll shred the everything off your waistline. But look at that. I love it. Healthy eating with the Trim Healthy Mamas. This looks so good. You can find this recipe and a whole lot more in the cookbook that you see right there. We'll put all the information about all of their cookbooks uh, online at trimhealthymamas.com. And coming up, it's important to understand the pros and cons of working from home before you commit to the major shift in work and home balance. We'll give you some of the top things to think about before setting up shop at the house. This portion of Talk of the Town is sponsored by Electronic Express. Express during this time. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, we received a call on Carter's Creek Pike uh, units were called and dispatched at 6.19 p.m. Uh, to that scene on Carter's Creek Pike that was called in by a family member, at which time our deputies arrived on scene. They went in to secure the house, at which time they found five victims all suffering from fatal gunshot wounds. The deceased persons were 14-year-old male Bo Lee, 14-year-old female Megan Lynn, 15-year-old female Leah Lynn, 17-year-old female Kaylee Lynn, 55-year-old female 
Cynthia Collier. The scene at that time, it was secured and uh, until myself and um, our Murray County Investigations Unit could arrive. At that time, we processed the scene. Um, we recovered uh, several items uh, that will be sent to the uh, forensics lab, and uh, the victims were sent to the uh, coroner for autopsies. At this time, everything would appear to be a murder-suicide. And then we're also we're awaiting the results from the autopsy and then the forensic evidence uh, from those results. Uh, we're still trying to determine what would be a motive in this situation. Uh, and we would ask, as we did last night, that, uh, that our community to continue to keep uh, uh, investigators, first responders, and uh, those victims with the family, keep those victims in your prayers. And uh, we're going to answer just a few questions. Yeah, just definitely a terrible situation there. So keep everybody down there in your prayers, including law enforcement who have any deal with that terrible situation. Live coverage continues on newschannel5.com and on our cable channel, News Channel 5 Plus. We the live not, conference uh, will continue not, there now live for more information. And we'll continue with updates throughout the day on all of our News Channel 5 platforms. We continue now with Talk of the Town. Working from home sounds like an ideal situation, but for those who deal with it, you know one of the biggest challenges they face is trying to stay focused so that you actually get work done. Here with some tips on how to be your own boss while working from home is Brittany Oliver, journalist and founder of Lemons to Lemonade, a career and lifestyles platform. Good to have you with us for today. All right, for working from home, what's the biggest challenge that a lot of folks face when they want to start working from home? Leland, the biggest challenge that people face is the balance. Mm -hmm. um, the beauty of working from home is that you can, you know, balance your life and your work. But sometimes you get distracted by the workload. Mm -hmm. um, laundry needs to be done. The dishes need to be washed. You have kids. So how do you make sure you stay on track with your work? Mm -hmm. and also get your um, housework done. Yeah, so part of that seems to me like a time 